do what thou wilt should be the whole of the law. Brother Oz again. Driving down I-55 to St. Louis, Missouri. Go deliver this load in the morning. And I wanted to make a video today about the true nature, the true self. Uh, how Thelema helps us find that, what the use of finding your true self is. Uh, before we get started, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the video. Hit the like button too. And leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, down in the description below, we got a Patreon you can join to support the channel. And uh, there's links to the t-shirts underneath the video. I'm going to start mentioning going forward in these uh, beginning parts that if you click through the t-shirts further all the way to the store, you can find the other designs. YouTube only shows a couple of designs, so you have to click through all the way to the store to find the better designs. So anyway, the true self, guys, and the true nature, okay? There's a lot of talk about finding your true nature and fulfilling your true nature in Thelema, all right? Uh, Lieber E gives you some tools to this end, uh, particularly in the physical limitations section to start to understand your physical limitations. But to take it further than that, you know, you need to also know your moral and, uh, you know, mental and emotional limitations as well begins to allow you to know your limits and know yourself, okay? So you can think of the true self or the self kind of like an onion, okay? And it's got all these different layers, okay? And you want to peel away that onion to get to what's inside, okay? So if you think about this onion, you, you've got You've got the self that you project out to the world, the self that you let the world see, okay? And then you peel away the layers. You've got all of these different layers of self, the self that you let your parents see, the self that you let your co-workers see, the self that you let your friends see, okay? You've got all of these different layers. And what you want to do is you want to find the, the, because sometimes as a human being, we confuse these layers within ourselves. you know. Uh, you know, not everyone, but a lot of people do. Like, they don't really know where the true them is because they spend all of their time showing these different selves to different people, okay? And it's unfortunate that we have to do that, but a lot of people do have to do that, okay? You have to be a different person around your job and a different person around certain friends versus other friends and you know it can confuse the psychological makeup of a person to where you really don't even know who you are now discovering your physical mental emotional moral limitations can help you in this process but basically you just kind of have to Peel it all away and try to connect with the real you, the you on the inside, okay? Uh, and when you do this, this helps you to discover your true will, all right? How are you to discover that thing that fulfills your nature on a base uh, level if you don't really understand yourself on that level? So have to work toward it okay you have to work toward becoming your truest self and trying to uh, trying to tear away these layers and for some people it is a difficult process okay like for somebody like me I really truly just don't give a fuck and you know for many years I've structured my life in such a way that I don't really have to show a different face to anybody that I don't want to now, part of this process, in my opinion, and to my mind, is creating a code that you live by. and Live by this code to be true to yourself. Uh, these different moral and behavioral codes are different for everyone, you know, but, like, you know, I've lived by a strict code for years, and I know it sounds kind of goofy, you know, but I really have, like... I don't tell lies. I don't 
you know, it's it is difficult in real life to live by a code sometimes, depending on what your code is. Uh, you know, I don't tell lies, and that seems on the outset a good thing, right? But sometimes it can be problematic. You're, you're, you know, because if, if my buddy is cheating on his old lady, and his old lady asks me direct, I might say, you need to go talk to him, but I'm not going to lie and tell her no. That doesn't mean I'm just going to, like, speak right up and say, oh, yeah. But at the same time, I'm not going to lie about it. And the same thing holds true with women say, do I, you know, do, what do you think of these jeans? You no, know, I don't like the jeans, you know what I mean? Or just any number of things. It's kind of like a, reminds me of this meme where a guy is in a job interview or a lady, I don't remember which one it was, and the, the interviewer says, what do you think is your greatest fault? And the, the person says, being truthful. And they're like, well, being truthful, I don't think that's really a fault. And they say, I don't give a fuck what you think. <laughs> So, you know, the, the being truthful and honest all the time can be a problem when that's a part of your code, you know, and also things like I don't steal, I don't cheat on women, I don't, you know, th there's all kinds of things included in my personal code that may not necessarily be a part of your code, okay? But in my opinion, creating this personal code and really strictly adhering to it is a part of finding your true self. And really understanding yourself. As you understand yourself more, this code may change and evolve. Uh, but, you know, know yourself. Like, try to really get in touch with the inner you and figure out uh, what your true nature is. Because that's the best way to figure out what your true will is, if you want to call your goal that. Or to... to determine what goal is really for you that's going to fulfill you and make you happy in your life. You know, uh, don't mislead yourself. You know, if, don't force yourself to do things that you're unhappy with if you can help it. You know, I mean, I'm not saying that you're never going to have to do anything that you're unhappy with. Obviously, we all do. But you want to get the closest that you can get to being happy because that's what's like what life is about you know and, and it's part of what I may do another video about success because the idea of success within Thelema is not really exactly what some people think it is you know you have people who think that success is being rich and other people you know people approach the idea of success in different ways and, and you may find people sometimes say he lives in a trailer house he, he's not successful but that person may be fulfilling their true nature and they're happy with their life. And so who cares what this other person thinks or whether or not they're successful. It's a matter of whether you yourself feel you're successful. And that comes from living according to your true nature. Discovering the things that fulfill you even if they're not impressive to other people or whatever. You know, like if I could live off of my music, I would live in a shack and I would be happy living off my music, you know what I mean? I'm not, I've never been able to figure a way to do that, but it's just an example. You know, if you can find a way to, to do, to fulfill your inner nature and make yourself truly happy, then a lot of the other stuff falls away and doesn't really matter. And so discovering your true nature, your true self, is the first step along that path to you know, you have to know yourself before you're going to be able to determine what that thing is. You're going to have to also know your limitations, know what you can and cannot deal with, know what you can and cannot do. Don't lie to yourself and tell you that you're good at this thing that you're not good at, you know, and that happens a lot. Uh, you don't know how many people in the music uh, scene I've ran into over the years who think they're just the best at something and they are not not even acceptable okay so know your limitations go through and work the practices in Libra E like these practices are important on a lot of different levels and you know they they help you to 
suss these things out. And if you look at things objectively and scientifically, this also really helps you get a more realistic understanding of who, who you are. Not everyone is a rock star or not everyone is a, an artist, you know. Some people may be perfectly happy just doing, you know, it, it, everybody is suited for something due to their true nature and it's up to you to discover what that thing is and that is what I would call really finding your true will is finding your true self and figuring out what it is that really fulfills your nature I hope that was helpful uh, hit that subscribe button like the video let me know what you think in the comments below and consider joining the Patreon, buying a t-shirt or something. Also down in the description, there's a link to a Facebook group that is not very active at all, but I do announce like live streams and stuff in there. So yeah, consider supporting the channel. I appreciate you watching. And love is the law. Love under will.